Hey, everybody, I'm John Granato. That's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can see Josh's work at SportsMapHouston.com as well. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMapHOU. Hey, late Wednesday, Josh, we had a suspicious report about the Astros having floated and offered to Michael Conforto two years, $30 million. Nothing happened, but it sure had a familiar feel to the reports that the Astros were close to a deal with Carlos Correa, which we know never really happened. You think this was Scott Boris trying to drum up interest in his client, Conforto? Uh, yes, this oozes with Scott Boris. I, I think this is him, a, a, a last-ditch effort. We know the deadline for, for Conforto to play in the postseason would have been a signing before midnight last night. We start hearing these reports late yesterday afternoon, early evening. I think it was a last, you know, ditch effort to drum up some interest in his player. And the the money, you know, was it two years, thirty million dollars? That's really close to what you've been paying Michael Brantley uh, on his, you know, re ups for his two year deals. And it's also another shoulder injury guy, and no. you know, another shoulder injury guy no. with, with Jake Myers, and it. It feels like the Astros would not be in the shoulder injury guy business right now considering what's happened recently. Yeah, and John Heyman said the Astros are not in the talks. Okay, so I could see him doing it. However, if, boy, you want to talk about a last-ditch effort. Dude, it was it was like just hours before the deadline that you had to be on a roster, on a 40-man, so that you could play for them in the, for that team in the playoffs. So nobody would have had time to check out his show, to check out everything, and give him a big deal like that. So I was kind of it was a little bit ridiculous, but he couldn't do it the day before because the Astros would have had plenty of time to say, "What? We're not in any Michael Conforto talks. What are you guys talking about?" <laughs> yeah, it seems like the Astros are just the perfect team for Scott Boris to use. Is hey, the Astros are interested. Well, yeah. What do you think? I, I clearly I think that's his plan and I can't blame him Scott Boris is good at his job th th that's fine he's just trying to get his client money but just looking at Conforto he had surgery in January you know Jake Myers had surgery you know basically during the postseason last year and he's still not right. right you know so that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me that the Astros would be interested in making a move like that so speaking of surgery I got a way for you guys to avoid surgery guys okay Dr. Manavis is helping guys with enlarged prostates, okay? It's called PAE. And she puts an IV, which is painless, into you. 45 minutes later, your, your prostate contracts and you're walking out of there with no pain, no repercussions, ED solved. I mean, guys, if you have any prostate issues whatsoever, you have got to see Dr. Manavis here Manavis here in the city of Houston and get this done because it's the only way to go out. The other stuff, the surgery, and they put the blades. No, don't do any of that stuff. Go to 975prostate.com. That's 975prostate.com. Hey, fans of media, we I was excited. I was like, Michael Conforto, are you kidding me? I'd love to have Michael Conforto in left field. So it made sense that the Astros were the team that he named. After not addressing center field in this in the tra the trade deadline in the offseason, given the handling of Myers, how much how much are you blaming James Click for this outfield situation right now? Look, it's on him because he's the GM, but we had a, a sports mat video about it. Jake Myers around the deadline was actually playing all right. Yeah. He, he was hitting better and playing better, and his arm didn't look so weak in the outfield, at least not at the time. So, you know, I don't want to kill click, you know, and do the hindsight 2020 thing, but clearly it's a problem, and he bet wrong on that one. They, they could definitely use some help, and the, the Jose Suri thing – He's starting to play well right now for the Rays. The, the Astros could use Jose Suri. And I know that, you know, Mancini was part of that deal, but there was also a pitcher, this Jaden Murray prospect, that Click, when he was in Tampa, they drafted Jaden Murray. So he had some familiarity with him, and he wanted to bring him into the system. So it wasn't just Mancini that came over. It was this pitching prospect, and you wonder – you know, if they might be better off if they would have held on to Surrey, they could use him right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Paul Paul would have played him anyway. 
Uh, he was about done with him. Of course, we were done with Chaz McCormick, and he was sent down, and then Michael Brantley couldn't play, and now Chaz McCormick is the man. Everybody, we can't wait to get Chaz McCormick back. So, uh, yeah, I can. You know, Jose Siri might have got his shot again. He was just too in- inconsistent, though. I can't blame Click for letting him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put that on him. I think we all said we've had. We've seen enough Click. We've seen enough Myers. Get Chaz McCormick back out there, or some kind of Alvarez, Mancini, Tucker combination. Maybe that's going to work. I don't know if Paul Paul's going to do that or not. We'll see how this all works out. But I, I'm not. I'm not putting this on the way that stuff was at that time. If he knew Michael Brantley was injured though, and you know, and Mancini was his answer, it's up to him to convince uh, Dusty to play Mancini in left field because that was the answer. Dusty, so you, so now let's let's keep on running him out there. I know you think that he can't. He, I, I don't know what he thinks of, of him as a left fielder, but I, I do know that he's got to start playing him every day out there. He does. I mean, but look at Vasquez. It's taken this injury, you know, to Maldonado to to get him out there playing. And look, what's he doing? He's hitting the damn baseball. <laughs> yeah. What a surprise! Yeah, you know, like it's so hard with Dusty. It's infuriating. And it's, as an Astros fan, you're like. You know, how can I be this upset, you know, when they have the best record in the American League? But you see what the offense can look like when they're playing the right guys. Absolutely. That lineup would be formidable if you can get all of those guys in in. That's the lineup that can that can actually get you through and into the World Series and perhaps win it. 